All right, it's the truth. Cardano, massive problem. It has a huge problem uh, on its ecosystem. And for some reason, none of the Cardano YouTubers or none of the Cardano writers on the internet has reported on this. I have no idea why, but I've identified, again, a massive problem on Cardano. Now, don't be scared, it's okay. Your bags are safe. I promise your bags are safe because it only speaks to show how undervalued Cardano is and the fact that it's number three by market cap size and they haven't even solved this one problem here blows my mind. People are still sleeping on Cardano. Keep watching. What's going on everybody? Alex back with another video. And today we're gonna to be talking about a little problem that nobody else is pretty much reporting on. Nobody's talking about it. I have no idea why. Maybe it's because they you know, don't do uh, the type of analysis that I do, but I cannot figure it out. Maybe my community can help me. Leave a comment below if you found a solution to this problem, but I'm talking about an all-in-one solution. I don't have uh, the tools. You understand what I'm saying. Uh, so in this video, we're gonna go over the recent uh, Cardano news. We're gonna go over price history. Um, as well as you know some rumors that are going around in Cardano and then towards the end of this video I'm going to show you the problem that I identified. Okay, this is my research only Okay, I'm the only one talking about this for some reason if you appreciate this content do us both a favor Subscribe to the channel like the video and of course turn on post notification bell If you turn that post notification bell you'll get content like this very fast And if you have the YouTube app on your phone You will literally get a notification directly to your phone so you can watch the content as quick as you possibly can because it's not that I'm you know perfect but I've been pretty much correct uh, when it comes to the selling the news uh, event with Cardano uh, with what's going on and it's actually in the price range that we predicted on this channel so I might be accumulating more Cardano also one thing share it with your friend just press that share button uh, the more that you guys contribute to the community the better that we do and the better I can make these videos so if we come over here this is what all the news this is pretty much everybody's talking about this is the extent of their research. I don't know why, um, you know, they can't get a little bit deeper than that. But all the YouTubers are talking about the Cardano Summit 2021, our biggest event ever. Everyone's talking about it, September 25th to 26th. And honestly, I can see why they're talking about it because it's super duper interesting. As you can see here, we have this little teaser video. Let's kind of watch it together. I'm gonna mute it so I can talk, but you can see that the Cardano Summit is gonna be held in a virtual land uh, with floating rocks and this pink person here. Very, very interesting. This is a whole world here, a virtual event to explore. Um, so seven different virtual worlds, that's really interesting. I've never seen this before um, in an event of this magnitude. So I think it's pretty interesting how they're gonna roll this out. It's definitely showcasing the blockchain. I don't know if this is exactly on the blockchain, I haven't seen any information on that. Let's see if they say it. I don't know if this is actually on the blockchain itself, um, but in general, they're showcasing what they can do. Um, and this is going to be a very interesting and unique launch. Another thing I don't understand is why they're trying to like do this, I guess. I mean, their uh, audience type is not like the type of people that would be interested in this. Demographics of cryptocurrency are typically above the age of 25 years old, especially people investing in Cardano. Like I would maybe expect some type of marketing like that coming from uh, you know, somebody in Ethereum, NFT space maybe, but I don't know why they're doing it this way, uh, but it does show the uniqueness of Cardano and their community. Very, very interesting there. In other news, and maybe this is not good news, but I have to report on it. Um, you know, I have to report on both sides of the story. As you can see here, uh, there's been a little bit of insider wash trading uh, with the Cardano ecosystem space, which brings it to the next uh, topic of discussion. You know, smart contracts come out. You're going to have malicious actors, guys. There's going to be malicious actor in the space. There's nothing you can do about that. So let me kind of just play what he was talking about here. Uh, you know, when it comes to these unethical projects being built on Cardano, let's see what he says. Charles, how do you feel about any unethical projects getting built on your blockchain? Is it something you have to deal with? No. Why? Because it's open infrastructure. If it's open infrastructure, by definition, good people and bad people have equal access to it. Community curation, regulation, and other things will show up to help clean that up. And that's the point of Voltaire. That's the point of Catalyst. That's the point of ambassadors and the foundation and point of you guys using your brains. You know, almost all these scams are not one way. 
Okay, the difference between a scam and a robbery and a burglary is a burglary is you're not home or you're home, someone shows up and takes your shit and runs off. A scam, they show up, talk to you and convince you to do something with them that ends up having you be the loser in that proposition. So you need to vaccinate, you need to inoculate your mind against these types of things. Giveaway scams are the canonical example of that. I come almost a weekly basis. We are not giving away ADA. We are not giving away ADA. I tweet it, I make videos of it, I tell people in person. And the community acts as surrogates and they broadcast and they amplify. We do everything in our power every day. There's no exception. I get an email from somebody, hey, I didn't get my ADA. <laughs> you know, it's just extraordinary to me. If they did five seconds of Google searching, Giveaway scams are a scam. Giveaway scams are a scam. The videos are there, the pins are there, all that stuff doesn't matter. Somehow they just want to believe it's true. And so they go and do it. And yeah, sure, there's liability. Liability is to YouTube. They make money from this with sponsored videos and all these other things. All right, so you get the point in general. There's going to be unethical uh, usage of every single blockchain. It's not native to Cardano. So just stay away from the FUD guys. Same thing with my channel. I mean, down in the comment section, you'll clearly know if it's me. If somebody's putting like WhatsApp or, you know, like asking you for something, uh, it's most likely not me. I'm going to respond in something that directly has to do with your post nine times out of 10. Um, and these guys are just putting random stuff. So just be careful with the giveaway scams and everything like that. And when it comes to, you know, unethical projects being built, rug pools, it's the same thing on, you know, any blockchain, not just Cardano. It's going to be on Ethereum. Uh, it's going to be all over the place. So just be very careful with that. Um, in general, uh, I thought this was really interesting. Kind of shows uh, Cardano relays in countries to show, you know, who's really using Cardano. You can see the United States and Germany are the biggest, which is very surprising considering the fact that when Cardano launched, they were primarily uh, Japanese. A lot of its shares were sold to the Japan. So very interesting that it's kind of decentralized now. If we look at the Cardano search term, you can see it's kind of taking a nosedive just as we expected, unfortunately. But like I said, you know, the community is resilient. It's still number three. On this recent bounce back, it went up higher than any other percentage. And you could also see that they're coming out with more advancements that are going to be announced at the Cardano Summit, which is Hydra. Um, they have their own layer two scaling solution that's going to be happening as well. So very interesting. Uh, they still have a lot of development out there and they have pretty much no working smart contracts right now. I identified an infrastructural problem um, and they're still number three by market capitalization. Seems like people really want Cardano to work. Also, this article here, I'm kind of just throwing some exclusive announcements here, exclusive to uh, this website, I guess. And it's been going viral in the Cardano community. The Cardano Summit takes place on September 25th and 26th, just days before the Crypto AM Summit and Awards. Um, and will feature prominent political figures, tech and business leaders with some exclusive announcements, which have been described as groundbreaking. So you can see kind of, you know, the hints, the breadcrumbs uh, being left for us. Uh, in the Cardano community, this is like a secret here, uh, but the Cardano Summit looks like it's going to be a major event, a major, major event. And just to say it one more time, political figures, tech and business leaders with some exclusive announcements, which have been described as groundbreaking. So who's it going to be? I don't know. Maybe we'll get more breadcrumbs as we get closer uh, to the summit. But that's very interesting. I wanted to highlight that there because everybody in the Cardano community has been talking about it. If we come over to the price here, again, when I draw something, I leave it out there. I'm not a day trader in any way, shape or form. I'm looking at like weeks, months, in some cases, years when it comes to technical analysis. I use very basic, very, very basic classical technical analysis, support resistant trend lines, uh, moving averages, very, very basic. Um, I'm not trying to get too crazy on it. You can see we drew this order block here. Um, and at the bottom of the order block, anywhere in here, I said I was going to buy. Um, so I'm, I'm looking to see if we can get maybe one more red day and then I'll start purchasing Cardano. But I specifically, if you guys go back into my videos, I said I was going to buy around the $2 price range and we did end up touching that price. So this is a good dollar cost average entry position. You guys know if you've been following my Cardano series, I have basically been treating it as an investor. I haven't sold any, but I said that specifically it might have been smart to get rid of some Cardano before the sell the news event, uh, which was September 12th. Uh, and we actually had a dump before that. But September 12th was right around here. If you would have got rid of it around that time, you would have saved about 20% of your money. Again, like the goal here is not to be a day trader. That's not what I do. I'm treating it as an investor. 
But I was saying specifically, and a couple people got mad at me. I was just saying specifically, hey, guys, if you have your whole net worth in Cardano, maybe it's smart to take profits. That's all I said. That's all I said. I don't even have close to my whole net worth, not even slightly close to my whole net worth in Cardano. So I was treating it as an investor. This is also a reason why, and maybe I'm going off on a small rant here, but I really don't care. I have to educate you know, the masses. This is another reason why I've told you guys a thousand times, you have to make decisions for your own portfolio. That's really, really important because I am in a completely different situation than 99% of you. And you guys are all in separate situations and you all have your own net worths and your own jobs and your own cash flow. And you know it's so different your own living situations. There is no possible way you could ever go on YouTube. And, and this is a, a pitfall that 99% of all new traders fall into. They just go on YouTube and they follow everybody. And it's just literally the exact opposite of what I preach on this channel. Leave a comment below if you're your own decision maker. If you are, kudos to you. Pat yourself on the back. Um, you're probably thriving in this market because all you have to do to success in this market is make your own decisions. Okay, that's it. And to get to the point where you can make your own decisions, to have the confidence to make your own decisions, you, you just have to rapidly educate yourself. Like, And it just happens to be that in cryptocurrency, it is a hard thing to do, being that you have to learn math, you have to learn macroeconomics, uh, you have to learn finance, all in one with tech. You have to learn tech, uh, source code, open source, all these things, right? You have to learn. It's a big learning curve, right? It's a massive learning curve. So there's a couple ways you could do it. And, and you know, this is the reason why I sell the fundamentalsecrets.com is you got to find uh, an advantage somehow, right? You got to like get the high quality information as fast as possible, you know, read 20 books or, you know, get a digital course or something, or, you know, just watch as many YouTube videos as possible. But just remember the internet is a double-edged sword with this new innovation. We got all of this new, you know, uh, information out there, right? When the internet came out, there was like an influx of information, but it's also an influx of low quality information right? So just be very careful, filter out the bad from the good and understand what's going on. So on to the next topic of discussion here. Um, but actually, before we go into the problem that I identified, let's go really quickly and see what the whales of Cardano are doing. This is the top 100 addresses. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open it up. And this sometimes makes me feel better because I know maybe some of you are down at like 21% on this recent dip. And what I do is I just open up the top addresses to see what they are doing. These are the whales that people have most to lose, right? I'm opening up all of them. Are they selling or are they buying, right? And sometimes you'll get some sellers. And I do this with Bitcoin all the time. But as you can see, vast majority of them, um, you know, they only have, you know, they're just holding, right? The transaction hash is in. You can see it's in. Uh, they're just holding. So again, like I said, a big problem identified in Cardano space. Uh, but I do think in the future, when they solve it, it's going to get more institutional demand. You can see um, all of these people are just holding massive amounts of Cardano. So, you know, it doesn't look that bad. It's In the long run, it's going to look good. So what did I identify? So if you look over here, this is pretty much the only on-chain metric software that I can find. There's a couple of them, but they're all broken. Okay. And it's because of this recent upgrade. Okay. Um, when we forked on Cardano, uh, so we can use smart contracts and stuff like that, it all broke. So we can look at the data before September 12th, which is cool. Um, but after September 12th, it's pretty much, as you can see right here, look, uh, September 12th, and then boom, zero transactions. That doesn't make sense. There's definitely more than zero transactions on September 13th. There is no data for Cardano, guys. This is the big issue. There is no infrastructure. Do you really think somebody with a lot of money is going to want to invest into something that they can't even track? Look, there's no on-chain metrics. Look, September 15th, 16th, zero, zero. This website is down. They haven't even upgraded. Look, it just falls off right here. Boom, September 12th, zero. New active addresses. We don't know what's going on in Cardano, or there is ways to figure it out. Um, this one has data from September 6th. But you have to make it easy for investors. There is, and, and this is like what I've been trying to explain over and over again. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just v simply highlighting the fact that Cardano is so undervalued. Once they start getting infrastructure into the ecosystem, we can start seeing some real, real profits. Look, September 20th, there's no data. I even Google searched it. Leave a comment below if you can find it for me. I want to see something similar to like on-chain metrics, uh, like uh, glass node insights. Like I want to see this level of, if we log in, I have the uh, institutional, like really expensive one. It's like 20 grand or something like that. And it shows everything. It shows everything. As an investor, I want to be able to see things like this. It shows everything. And Cardano does not have a working solution right now. We have kind of like little beta websites and stuff like that, that don't really give you a deep perspective. And they haven't even upgraded since after the, the, you know, the hard fork. So it's like, 
what incentive do they have to upgrade uh, if there's no smart contracts? I, I don't know. Like, this is a problem. Like, you guys have to really, you know, come to grips with, and it's not necessarily a, always a bad thing, but like we've said it a, a time and time again, we have layer zero, which is probably polka dot, right? Then we have layer one. We have layer two. Cardano is in competition with ETH that already has the strategic advantage, right? ETH, uh, you know, AVAX. So it looks like the battleground right now is layer one, right? And I'm not going to draw it out because it'll take forever and I can't write with a mouse. But in general, the point here I'm trying to make is if Cardano really wants to compete with these huge layer ones that already have smart contract capabilities and stuff like that, then what they need to do is get the same tools that ethereum has right now i can get everything on ethereum i can get you know a wallet profile like a zerion um i can you know there's so much more tools and data i don't even know why i pulled this up here but i just wanted to use it as a you know explanation look there's gonna be a layer two economy right and there's gonna be a layer one economy which is like ada avax you know the big blockchains binance smart chain polka dot's gonna be the um layer zero right and we're going to have ADA probably get a, a parachain uh, slot auction on DOT, as well as Ethereum and some of the other layer ones. But the point here is if we don't have uh, anything to view like we can with ETH, you can see everything on ETH. You can see everything. I have so many tools I can utilize with ETH. And being the fact that um, a lot of layer ones uh, piggyback off of ETH success, a lot of them have these institutional tools as well. So if we don't get this, it's going to be a major problem. Um, one other thing I wanted to show you, the active stake is actually increasing after Epic 290, which we're right now on 291. So it's relatively uh, recent. This is from the 12th. So maybe, you know, they'll update some information after this Epic, or maybe, uh, you know, it's just they haven't upgraded to uh, the new, you know. It's one of the two, but after September 12th, we just have like no data. So hopefully we'll, and if we do, and maybe I'm wrong, maybe they did update and we're just waiting for the Epic to you know, uh, finish, I'll update you guys on exactly what's going on. But in general, uh, you know, data up until that point is pretty bad. We have active stake increasing, but I can't see what's going on other than that. Uh, so yeah, guys, I also looked into the Reddit forms to see if I could find anything. You can see that a lot of them abandoned their projects. Like this one abandoned in like 2019. They don't have any data tool.io. It doesn't even work anymore. I believe Oh, yeah, it does work, but it's only showing for pool data. They're not showing us anything about on-chain metrics. I looked into it. I looked at ADA scan. They went out of business. Uh, this is the same other chart. Uh, you know, they haven't updated it. There's nothing. There's no... I look deep, and you guys know I look deep. It's very basic stuff. This website had something very similar, ADAEX.org, but then if you go to their stats right here, they're saying coming soon. So it's just very hard to find good data. On Cardano right now. Hopefully they fix this in the future and it gets close to Ethereum and Bitcoin's, uh, you know, capabilities right now. Other than that, I don't really see um, institutional demand coming in aggressively into Cardano unless this happens, unless they get more liquidity and unless they get um, some real infrastructure and tools for people to use it. Uh, obviously, none of the smart contracts are currently working right now. Hopefully they come out with a decentralized exchange. When these things happen, we can pass Ethereum eventually. We'll get that forex. Um, and that's if the market allows us with this recent dip um, and what's going on currently. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. If you like the quality of this content, hit like. If you don't, leave some constructive criticism. Subscribe for more video updates. And like I always say, if you don't get with it, you will get a fine. Thanks for watching this, guys. Catch you in the next one.